hello, 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 everyone. I am on time. It's 7 o'clock on the dot. Um, but I'm also tired. <laughs> I kind of didn't want to stream this morning. Um, but because today is Tuesday, um, and I won't be doing an evening stream, uh, I figured I would at least do the morning stream. But... I also don't know if I'm going to play any video games this morning. I think we're just going to hang out with Mr. Charles here, who is being oh so cute, oh so handsome. He's being the best kitty cat in the whole world, of course. That's what he does. Um, so I think we're probably just going to chat this morning. It was very fun yesterday doing a just chatting stream in the morning um so maybe that will become the thing because i also work nine to three the next couple of days so i don't i don't know what's going to go on with the morning streams um this might be the last regular morning stream <laughs> for a little bit i don't know um days off i'll probably still do them at 10 because that's that's like my prime time that's where everyone shows up um, but I feel like morning streams before I go to work, I don't know. We'll find out what, what happens with those. If I'm going to be going in at nine, I'm not waking up any earlier than six. Although I've been waking up at 4.30 the last couple of days, so who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, we will all find out at some point, you know? Oh, Charles. I wish I could get, like, a better angle on him for you guys. He's so fantastically draped over <laughs> my arms and everything. Oh, Charles. He said, let me really take your arm even further. <laughs> I know, you're the best cat. Oh. I'm going to steal my arm back, though. Thank you. <laughs> that side eye to the camera. Oh, my goodness. He's so handsome. Best cat award. I wished. Hold on. Maybe it's the color. No. The camera just, like, doesn't want to adjust to Charles. Oh, that's a little better. No, that's still not great. What if I turn down the brightness? I think it's just the light. The ring light's not good for the cat. He's so handsome, though. What a pretty man. There we go. It finally adjusted. Oh, and now it's back. Okay, well... What is it adjusting to? This is so weird. At least Charles is having a good time, though. He was so on my lap this morning that I was like, I don't even know if I want to move to play video games, because he's going to leave my lap. And I'm having a good time with him this morning, I'm not going to lie. I don't want to boot him off accidentally. If he leaves, it's going to be entirely through his choice. And I think he's having a good time. Look at him. He's a purry kitty at the very least. Yeah, you know, you're handsome. I have not forgotten. Handsome kid to my am. I 
I don't know if I'll wind up uh, doing the full two hours this morning, but I figured I would at least get a little bit of a stream in. But it also seems like no one is quite here yet, which is a little unusual at this point. Five minutes in. Not the worst thing in the world. I know y'all have lives. Don't think I'm getting down on y'all. <laughs> um, but it is a little strange at this point. Usually someone's here in the five, first five minutes. Claiming first. <laughs> Be it Twisted or Theo or... Yesterday was cozy. I think Sasha was first once. It varies sometimes. How are you so freaking handsome? Who told you you could be this handsome? Look, this is one handsome cat. I've said that maybe 20 times already this stream, but it is so very true. <laughs> I think he's noticing himself, but I think he's all right with it. You are so silly a man, if you did not know. So, so silly. You also have a tiny bit of an eye booger, but it's not enough for me to get rid of for you. I'm so sorry. You gotta get rid of your pet's eye boogers, you know? They can't do it. Someone's gotta. I think my dog is having a nightmare in the other room. making silly puppy noises. I know a handsome kid's a man. <laughs> He's like holding on to my hand. I wish I could show you guys, but this is like the best angle I can get on it. He's holding my hand with his paws and then draping his head on top of that. <laughs> really captured my hand. And can I have my hand back? Is that allowed? He'll like swat at me for like moving my hand too fast away from him these days. It's the funniest thing. He like does not want me to stop petting him. So hey kitty man. I'm gonna check my phone for a little bit. So that way I feel like I've had enough phone time before I go into work. So cause sometimes it really does not feel like I've had enough time to browse the internet when I go into work. <laughs> I haven't had my daily fix, you know? Sometimes I think I've had a little bit too much of the internet. Um before I have gone into work. <laughs> I 
I'm surprised no one's here in the first ten minutes. Everyone's sleeping today. And frankly, I do not blame them because, um, I wish I could be sleeping right now, frankly. I woke up at 4.30 again today. I don't know what's going on with my sleep schedule lately. It is not going well, that's for sure. Charles is the star of the show today. We've had enough of my face, honestly, and just never enough of Charles's face. Because there's no such thing as enough of Charles. He's too good. And he sit. He's a very good boy. I don't think you guys can fully hear it, but he is purring. You might be able to hear it a little bit. <laughs> he didn't try to chew on the mic this time. He's learning. <laughs> Look at him face. Him face is so good. <laughs> Deafies. <laughs> you are so silly, a man. He's definitely noticing himself in the in the camera. He's having a time with it. Sometimes he's extremely interested in himself in the camera, and sometimes he's just like could not care less. But it seems like today he's a little obsessed with himself. We got a little narcissist cat. Frankly, though, who doesn't love a little narcissism in, in, in their cat? He is very pretty. He he should know that. He a very pretty, handsome kitty man. Very pretty and very handsome. <laughs> Hello. Well, now he really purred. You have to 
kiss the cat. The requirement of owning the cat. If you own the cat, you have to kiss the cat. There, you know, I don't make the rules, I just follow them. Even if you do not own the cat, you must sometimes kiss the cat. Oh! Charles belly rubs. He loves the belly rubs. There does become a point where sometimes he'll attack me a little bit for it, but he loves belly rubs. Oh, he's so handsome. He's so special. <laughs> he just loves being pet in general. It literally does not matter where to him. He doesn't he doesn't love the back so much sometimes, like right right here of this of his back is not his favorite place. Oh, he's some kitty man. I know he has some kitty man. You are so very handsome. <laughs> I think he didn't want to look at the the other cat <laughs> in the mirror anymore. Either that or he just wanted to look at me. Um, which either way is very, very cute. He's so silly. He's a very silly kitty. He's also very purry right now. He's a very happy kitty man. Would you like to pour into the microphone? <laughs> I'm gonna watch that back later and see how that sounds. Some good Charles audio. Charles ASMR. You are so special. I hope you know. don't really have a whole lot to say this morning. I am quite tired. I've been up since 4.30. Um, again, two, two days in a row now. Um, and I was going to go get more coffee when I came in from, from growing dragon fruits on the porch. Um, but there was no more coffee, so <laughs> I have to make do with what I've got this morning. And I am not awake enough. Definitely not awake enough for video games, honestly. To take care of a kid right now? No. No way. All I can do right now is pet Charles and browse the internet every here and there. That's all that I have the capacity for this morning. I'm so special, though. I love you. He is special kitty man. to go to the bathroom soon which is maybe kind of silly although honestly um 
Hey, Cornelius, how's it going? You're actually the first person to pop in this morning. <laughs> I'm just cuddling with Charles this morning. I am not awake enough to play video games, honestly. It's kitty cuddle time. <laughs> he's being very cuddly this morning. I think he's been on my lap for like the last hour now. He has not moved. I just keep telling him how special he is because he's a very special handsome kitten man. I wish I had more coffee this morning. I was just saying that I came back in from um, growing dragon fruits on my porch. Um, <laughs> and I was going to grab more coffee because I only have, like, I don't even know if you can see into my cup here. I have very little left. You can see the, the bottom before you can see the coffee. Um, <laughs> and unfortunately, there was no more coffee left in the pot. My mom had already drank the rest of it, so... I'm not awake enough for video games this morning. I am only awake enough to pet Charles. <laughs> and maybe chat for a little while. I don't even know if I'm going to do a full two hours today, honestly. They, both my mom and my stepdad, get up at 4 a.m. every day. Um, and they go to bed at 8 <laughs> p.m. So, yeah, they're early risers, and um, I most of the time miss out on coffee because I am a regular person who wakes up at, like, 7. <laughs> they they usually leave me about a cup. Um, yesterday, it was less. No, yesterday I was awake at the same time as them, so I got, like, I got a, a cup and a half. But the day before that, I got up at 10 o'clock and there was no coffee left. They had already drank it all. And I was like, that's, that's cool, guys. Great. Like, <laughs> yeah, about a cup. I, I have to embellish it with milk to make it a cup most of the time. <laughs> I don't know. I could also make my own pot of coffee, but that just feels wasteful because I only want one cup in the morning anyway. Like, I, I try to limit how much coffee I can have because uh, my body does not like coffee as much as I do. <laughs> Hello, Suchan. How you doing this morning? But, yeah. I, I only want to have one... want to have one cup of coffee in the morning, so them leaving about a cup, I'm like, that's fine most of the time. But it's when I wake up at 10 and all the coffee is gone because they drank it all, and I'm like, that's... Thanks, guys! <laughs> and that, unfortunately, went right there was the end of my coffee for the morning. So... I don't know how well I'm going to do it my 10 to 4 shift today, but... <laughs> We'll find out. We'll see how it goes. Hello, handsome kitty man. You are very handsome and very kitty man. If you did not know. So special. I've never met another cat who, like, loves, um, yes, Cornelius, he loves sleeping in bed with me. I, like, I have my arm like that and, like, support my head on it and everything, and he comes and he lays down, like, right here. He's like my little teddy bear. <laughs> Every night I go to sleep with him practically, like, in my arms. And frankly, I think I need that more than he does at this point. Because the other night he was gonna, he was hanging out in my mom's office where there was a, another bed. Um, and I was going to bed and I was like, hey, like, hello, 
is bedtime now. Like, come cuddle. <laughs> he really did, yeah. I mean, he knew me before he moved in here, too. It's not like I he, he met me for the first time a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> um, I've known him for maybe two years or so now. Because he was my friend's cat uh, before mine. But she just can't house him right now. Because where she lives, there's three, three other cats. And he does not like other cats. So, unfortunately, I gotta be the one to house him. But that's only unfortunately for her. Because <laughs> I love him. He's my favorite cat. He's so lovey-dovey. I've never met a cat who's this into cuddling. He, like, yells at me if I don't cuddle with him. <laughs> He's a silly man. And he loves, like, anytime that he sees, like, an arm, he's gonna drape himself over that. That's... That's where he's gonna be hanging out. <laughs> he's so silly. I don't know how it's comfortable for him ever. Also, because he's, like, he's, like, stretching to, like, lean out over this arm right now. Hanging on for dear life with his paw. <laughs> he really is precious. He's the silliest little cuddle bug. And honestly, I love being able to do streams like this, too, where he's just chilling, you know? Filling any area where they lie, yeah, honestly. <laughs> he's very fluid. He'll, he'll find a way, usually. If he's not, like, in my arms because I'm doing something on my bed, um, he'll, like, lay across my hips. Or he'll, like, lay in between my legs. Or sometimes he'll lay, like, on my chest right here for a short period of time. But it's usually, like, any any space, you know, any, like, area like this in my body that makes, like, a semicircle or, like, a half, you know, an area, he will fill that area. <laughs> my arms, you know, if I'm doing a teapot, he's going to be in that little hole. If <laughs> my legs are, like, slightly, you know, apart from each other, he's going to be there. <laughs> He'll find his way. Because he's very much a cat, too. He's looking forward to cuddling with me all day. Like, I get home from work, and he's like, it's cuddle time? Like, it's time for us to hang out right now? <laughs> he's not, he doesn't want dinner. He's not, like, motivated by, you know... Oh, person's home, like, give me attention. It's like, we need to go hang out on your bed or in your chair right now. <laughs> and honestly, that's that's what I want to do the second I get home, too. He's a good cuddler. Best cuddler I've ever met, honestly. My legs are starting to fall asleep a little bit, though. My guy. I might have to... I have to at least steal my arm back. I'm so sorry. Wow. There you go. That's a little better. <laughs> I love when he notices himself in the camera. <laughs> That's you, you handsome silly man. I know, he's so freaking cute. I hate that the camera will never, like, focus on him, though. It's, like, too bright or something because of all this white here. Because I noticed if I, like, if I take this down, like, it looks better with him <laughs> on the camera. Yeah. 
they like some of them can recognize who they are it um it varies from the cat but some of like my my old cat Susie I would hold her up to the mirror all the time she would not recognize that that was her that was another cat she was disinterested she did not care Charles here I think he's worked it out because the first time he saw himself in the camera he did have a moment where he was like and I thought he was going to fight his own reflection. But then I pet him on the head, and I think he saw a hand petting a cat on the head at the same time he was feeling it. And I think that did it for him, because he then he suddenly was like, oh, like, all right, I get it, I think. But he'll still somehow just have a moment where he sees the cat in the in the camera, and he's like, who are you? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes no that that part is rough they don't recognize it so they can't focus on it <laughs> Ooh, i'm so sorry i gotta sit back in the chair a little bit charles there you go but no he can he can recognize his own face a little bit i think it still takes him a moment every here and there <laughs> How'd you get so handsome? Who told you you could be this handsome? I'm pretty sure it's illegal. My Pokemon adventure came to a halt a couple of weeks ago. I haven't played uh, Scarlet and Violet in a little bit. <laughs> I have Violet. Um. I, last I was doing, I was trying to complete the Pokedex a little bit, um, but then I, the more I thought about it, I was like, I don't have someone who has Scarlet to trade for the version exclusives, and there are a fair amount of them, so I don't know if completing the Pokedex is actually worth it for me. <laughs> um, it is rough. I came very close in a couple of games. Back when emerald was the most recent game i mind you i know this is close to 20 years ago now uh, <laughs> i had 198 out of 200 which is the closest i've ever been um all i was missing was phoebus and my low tick because back in emerald there was five random squares that changed based on your um save profile and something that you had done along the way in the game um that you had a five percent chance of getting a phoebus from <laughs> so i did not have that um but i came real close until one day i was uh, on the internet with my brother when we were both young and we came across a cheat code that ge gave you all the pokemon and i was like oh good we can we can get the last two i don't care if it's cheating we'll have them you know and the the cheat code was to hold what was it a b start and select on the start screen and that definitely does do something uh it it does not give you the complete pokedex it does erase your save um <laughs> so i had to start all over i was so mad <laughs> Because I had a level 100 Blaziken, and I had, like, 198 of the Pokemon. I was, oh. <coughs> I did work my way back up. I didn't ever complete that Pokedex, but I did redo a lot of what I had done there again. I don't think I ever got Phoebus or Milotic. <laughs> I know. I was so mad because my brother was the one who convinced me to do it. I was like, I don't think that that'll work. And he was like, no, it's fine. Just do it. And then he like took the Game Boy and did it. And I was so mad at him for so long after that. 
to this to this day, I'm kind of mad at my brother for doing that. And honestly, I still have that emerald emerald cartridge. Um. Oh, okay. Bye, Charles. I still have it, and I'm pretty sure. If I, if I, like, turned it on in a Game Boy right now, it would be that same save that I've had since my brother, like, restarted it all that time ago. <laughs> He's, uh, two and a half years older than me. Uh, because he was born in September, I was born in January, but it's a two-year difference. So... <laughs> But I'm not on great terms with him right now. Um, we don't we don't see each other, so I tend not to talk about him too much because, frankly, I don't think he's worth my time. <laughs> like I have, I have happy memories of him, and I you know he's my brother in the end. But right now we're we're not on talking terms, <laughs> and that's that's family sometimes. I know some people want to feel bad for me. On, on my views on, on my family and everything like that. But family's family. They're going to do what they're going to do, and you got to do what you got to do about it, you know? <laughs> I have my chosen family, uh, and that's all that's important to me. And part of that is my actual family. I love my mom. <laughs> love my mom's side of the family. Dad's side of the family, that's not my family. <laughs> my brother right now, that's not my family. <laughs> You know, blood is thicker than water or whatever it is. No. That's not. Is it water is thicker than blood? Whatever the, the saying is. <laughs> Charles has left us. The, the water of the covenant, it's blood is thicker than water. Okay, yeah. The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of something. <laughs> no, because the actual saying, um, blood is thicker than water, like, the full version of it is for, like, found family. It is, like, on, on the side of, like, fuck your relatives if they fuck you over. Um, but it's funny that we've, like, we've taken just the shortened version of it. Blood is thicker than water. It's the same as, um... Curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. Like, that that whole saying is about, like, satisfy your curiosity. You should, you know, but also be careful. Don't be too curious. But a lot of sayings just get, like, chopped in half, so we only have curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And welcome back, Suchan. How you doing this morning? Um... There's a, there's a couple of sayings that are like that. There's that one. There's um, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. Because um, that's saying, like, the your chosen people, your covenant, um, is thicker than the water of the womb. You know, the people you are related to. <laughs> um, super busy, yeah. Sounds like the middle of a week. Well, I'm glad you can at least hang out, Suchan. I'm glad you're doing all right. I hope all the moving stuff is going well and everything. Hey, Legendario, how's it going? I also, after after you followed that one stream, I went back and I realized that your name is super easy to pronounce. I just did not look at it the correct way last time. <laughs> um, what other sayings get chopped in half? I know there are some. Um... I don't know. Uh, for a little while of my life, I was really obsessed with learning, like, the the etymology of a lot of these phrases. Shit, like, um, like, raining cats and dogs, and, like, can't hold a candle to, like, where did these phrases come from, you know? Um, and so I did learn a lot about, like, I don't even remember what that part of speech is called. It's not a euphemism, because that's, that's something else. <laughs> Gotta really be a buyout. Hmm. Figuring out if you can leave, like, late, a little later than planned. Did you, um, did you find someone to take your old place yet? I know you said you had to look for that. 
Oh, nice. I mean, is the up to to leaving later? <laughs> Either way, um, nice. Sometimes, sometimes leaving at the end of the month feels like a silly thing, you know. Oh, moving in general is just such a it's a hassle. Bought it out with two months rent. Uh, yeah, that's tough. Moving is the worst, yeah. I'm glad the owners were were ac accepting to that, but it sucks that you had to pay for that. <laughs> no worries, do what you gotta do, Suchan. I appreciate you stopping in. Yeah, no, moving kind of sucks. I hope to not do it too many more times in my life. I, ideally, maybe twice more in my life. Um, I don't know. I might, I want to move to a different state for a little while. I want to live not in the state that I've lived my entire life, my entire life, you know? <laughs> I want the experience of living somewhere else for a while, but I also, I like this area. Um, I could imagine living the, the remainder of my life after I have lived somewhere else, um, here in this area i have no ideas on on the other state honestly i i'm not gonna lie i'm leaning towards california or new york just because like as far as other places to live go that's what teenage butter wanted um teenage butter wanted to be a star in new york and be on broadway <laughs> broadway but i don't know i don't think i could live in a city city um like, I don't think I'd be able to live in New York City. I'd have to live, like, within train distance of, maybe. <laughs> and other than that, I don't know. I haven't thought too heavily on it. But I've tried taking recommendations across my, my social medias a couple of times. Um, but no one has given me, like, a solid... I think someone said um, San Francisco. And someone else said somewhere in, like, South Carolina. And I was like, I'll pass on that one. <laughs> <laughs> not not even just because of the homophobia um but like the the southern part of the states there like the the southeastern corner that area is just too humid for me there's a little little too much moisture in the air year round and there's a little too many um from what i hear lizards falling from trees during a certain part of the year for me and i'm just not into it <laughs> So the the whole southern the Bible Belt particularly um that whole region is pretty off limits for me I think <laughs> the Southwest New Mexico and Arizona I've been to New Mexico and Arizona and they are really nice but they're also kind of desolate at least the areas that I went to like there's not a whole lot around and I I need something else around you know <laughs> Texas like Austin or Dallas maybe. Something that concerns me about Texas, though, is that whole, like, having a whole separate power grid that has already proven to be not so good in the last couple of years. Like, that that part of infrastructure makes me worry a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Other than that, I have heard Texas is really nice. Um, at the very least, cuisine-wise, fantastic. I mean, 10 out of 10. <laughs> um. And yeah, San Francisco, like California in general, I've heard is just really expensive. And if I do move to another state, it is going to be like, don't have a job living off my savings for a little while. Um, like that sort of move. Because I'm not prepared enough to get a job in a different state before I move there. I'm not that type of person. <laughs> ideally, if I move somewhere, I would like to, um, again, ideally, I don't think this is going to happen because I don't have enough friends for this. Um, I'd like to stay with someone for a little bit while I find an apartment in that area and find a job at that same time. Um, so again, I don't, I don't even know how likely this is because I am not a person who has their shit together or has friends enough. So, um, Pittsburgh would be a huge change, but frankly, my goal is anywhere that is not where I live right now. Somewhere that is not the state that I've lived my whole life. 
I want some some sort of different experience in there, you know? <laughs> Ain't no state with better barbecue. True, true. Illinois? Maybe. My problem with Midwestern states is I really know nothing about them. Like, I've, I've been to California, um, New Mexico, Arizona, like that part of the map. And I've been all around the Northeast. I know most of those states. But, like, anything in the middle there, I know practically nothing about. <laughs> Corn. I, you know? <laughs> um, but Chicago, maybe, yeah. Oregon. Yeah, that's the thing is I have to I have to take into effect like cost of living, um, queer friendly status, um, and um, like not just affordability, but like how easy it is to find a job there. You know, considering I'll be finding one when I get there. Um, <laughs> so there's a it's a lot. It's I've been thinking about it for a while, and I have come no closer to a decision on it other than that I probably want to do it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I gotta think on it for a long time and see where I end up with it. Because um, I also, I've thought about it, I don't want to fuck up my stream schedule too much. Like, I don't want to move to a wholly separate time zone and then suddenly be streaming, like, two or three hours earlier and two or three hours later than I, I, I am now, you know? Because a lot of people can only show up to the streams that I do now because of the time slots that they're at. <laughs> so I've there's a lot of things to take into account. Um, prefer Texas barbecue. I don't know if I've ever had barbecue from, from any southern states. I don't even know if I ate while I was in Arizona, honestly. <laughs> I, I can't say that I have. Um, I'm from the Northeast, Legendario. I have not actually said what state ever, um, just to keep a little bit of privacy. <laughs> but I'm, I'm up in the, the Northeast corner of the U.S. And it's, it's nice here. Like I said, I really do love this area. I would not like to be one of those people who did not ever leave it his whole life, you know? I would like to, for at least for a little while, live away from the place where I was born and lived the first 20 years of my life. <laughs> like, I do have a lot of um, other European followers. The problem with that one, I would love to live in another country for a little while. That that would be the dream. I don't have a passport currently, and that takes a, a little while to get, from my understanding. Um and I don't know. I'd like to move out of my parents' house before I'm 30. So we got we got about three years on that. <laughs> we'll I'll figure it out at some point. But um, yeah, sometime before I'm 30, I would like to not live with my parents. Oh no, I know Suchan. I everyone's a little biased to the place that they came from, you know. <laughs> That's just how food works. Like. I, I love other people's cooking. However, my mom's cooking is probably going to top it most of the time. <laughs> no barbecue dog in that fight. <laughs> no hot dog in that grill. <laughs> I know, I eat everything too. I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not picky when it comes to food. There is, I have two separate lists of food that I dislike. There is food that I dislike, and there's food that I won't eat. They are very separate categories. Do not, con do not confuse them. <laughs> Anything in the don't like category, I will still eat. Like, you hand it to me and say, here, eat this. I'll, yeah, absolutely. Why not? <laughs> um... But the things in the I will not eat category, that is solidly will not eat. Like, don't like it, won't eat it, can't do it. <laughs> Dislike? Absolutely, yeah, why not? We'll do it, why not? <laughs> it's not like I hate it or anything. <laughs> and then there's, of course, like and love, but less important at the moment. <laughs> 
that's that's ninety percent of food in those two categories. <laughs> I don't know. There's like, like I dislike broccoli, but I will eat it under certain conditions. If there's enough cheese on it, absolutely, I'll eat that shit up. If it's in a salad that I'm having, like I'll pick around it. I'm not gonna eat that shit. <laughs> Some of the won't eats. Um, octopus. I know that. <laughs> Great place to start. Um, it's the texture of it. Tapioca. Again, the texture I cannot do, even though I like the flavor. Um, I'm trying to think. I know there's like a more common one. Um, yeah, no to calamari. It's the suction cups. I can't get over the texture of them. And, like, I, I think I'm just a little too autistic to be able to <laughs> handle textures that I'm not, like, that I don't love. Because, um, yeah, that's the thing for me, too, Suchan. Quality plays no factor into it. I'll eat shitty food. I don't care. <laughs> Does not matter to me. But the mouthfeel, yeah, that is top. Like, I can't do it. I won't, oh, orange juice with pulp. Cannot do it. <laughs> Will not consume. Um, I eat a lot of different foods. I should fix my diet still a little bit. I was doing a little better for a little while when I first started working out. I was having, like, peanuts and stuff for snacks instead of, like, fruit snacks and chocolate and stuff. I'm back into eating mostly chips and chocolate and fruit snacks for my diet these days. Um, so I need to get, I need to hop back on having, like, fresh fruits and peanuts and stuff again. Um, ooh, I can't do pulp. I can do, I can do the tiniest little, tiny little bit of pulp. Um, but if it's, if it's, if it just says pulp on the box, I'll pass. <laughs> yeah. Texture big for me. Yeah. Um, taste, honestly, not so much. I will eat most foods. There is one that comes to my, I don't even know if you guys will know what it is. There's a, a type of cheese that we have at my job called Lacey Swiss, and it is the most foul, repugnant cheese I have ever tasted in my whole life. There are very few things that I have eaten in my life and immediately needed to find something else to put in my mouth to cleanse the taste of, and that is one of them. <laughs> it is disgusting. <laughs> and that's, I'm okay with Swiss cheese. I like Swiss. But Lacey Swiss is an abomination, okay? <laughs> and old people love it. What it is, is it's low-sodium cheese, too, I think. Like, it has less salt in it than most other cheeses, and I think that just ruins it. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I, you know, and this is coming from someone who loves cheese, like, a lot. I, I don't think, other than Lacey Swiss, there is a cheese that I won't eat. <laughs> I even like blue cheese, which is technically classified as a mold. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I think at one point my aunt paid one of my cousins five bucks to eat like a hunk of blue cheese that was like that big and I was like you'd have to pay me not to <laughs> you kidding me blue cheese this big absolutely throw it my way <laughs> put that shit on a sandwich or something I don't know that's you save on blue cheese that way Winter storm is what the weather says for today. Hold on a minute. Yesterday was a winter storm. We had a lot of snow yesterday. Um, not so much that, like, fell and stayed. Like, we didn't have, like, feet of snow on the ground or anything. But it was, like, it was blizzarding out, it looked like. They were huge fucking snowflakes. And um, they went for a long time. But there's no, it's like almost blue skies out there right now. <laughs> but it says winter, winter warning. Oh, now it just says cloudy. I think that was the weather from yesterday and it hadn't updated. No, it says winter storm watch still. Is it actually going to snow while I'm at work today? What's going on? Uh, 
nor'easters. I, I've heard the term before. I've never used it. Um, <laughs> those kind of snowstorms. I, people around here do. I, I don't think I've ever called it that, though. Nearest snow is 114 miles away. Oh my goodness. Actually, it seems like the nearest snow is like a couple of feet away from me. Um, <laughs> you look outside my window, you could see. <coughs> Let's see that full forecast. What's what's today going to be like? Oh. A high of 37 degrees. Great. Wonderful. Um, mostly cloudy. Seems like. Yeah, what do you mean winter storm? It's just going to be cloudy today. We have a storm warning from 3.39 a.m. this morning until 7 a.m. Thursday morning. <laughs> That is a that is a large space of time for there to be possibly a store. <laughs> That's so funny. Meteorology is such a funny science. It's one of those you can be so wrong and everyone's just like, yeah, that's regular. That's it's a hard science. <laughs> you guys haven't figured it out like at least a little bit at this point. <laughs> How long have we been doing meteorology? Um you can't pinpoint if there's going to be a storm or not <laughs> within these over 24 hours. <laughs> close close to 48 hours. <laughs> Ridiculous. The only job where you can be wrong 90% of the time and people are like, yeah, that's fine. You should keep your job. <laughs> You're doing the best you can. <laughs> I wish. I wish I could just be wrong all the time at my job and have it be fine, but people would complain if I made their sandwich wrong. There was a guy yesterday, he was like the first customer I helped, and it would it had been such a nice morning because from 9 to 10, we weren't open while I was there, so nobody bothered me, nobody stopped me from doing what I was doing, nobody was stupid, like it was a nice slow ease into the morning and then 10 o'clock hits this guy walks in <laughs> he orders his sandwich whatever he comes over if this is where the sandwich been he is standing right here like around the corner like watching the sandwich bin and he's like what toppings do you guys have and i shit you not on the wall in front of him is a list of all the toppings we have and i say there's a list right there. It lists everything we've got. And he goes, I know. And he, like, stares at me, waiting for me to open the bin so that he can look inside to see the ingredients physically to see what we have. Um, so I'm, I open it. I'm making his sandwich based on what he sees that we have. And he goes, do you have green peppers? My guy easy way to find out you know how you would find out from from reading the sign that you said is no that you know is there that i told you is there because <laughs> the green peppers were in the other side that i hadn't opened yet he didn't know we physically had them so <laughs> could not read the sign that was there but had to watch me make the sandwich the whole time and it's just like my guy my guy <laughs> Maybe he just liked the sound of my voice, but you know what? You can you can engage me in conversation after you've told me the ingredients that you want, you know? <laughs> I'm I am not here to be your list reader is what it comes down to. <laughs> Cause that like people will ask me like what types of cheese do you have? Or like what types of ham do you have here at this deli where you have like seventeen types of both? And I'm never in a mood to list off everything that we have. Um illiterate and embarrassed about it possibly honestly though if you tell me that i am going to be less angry at you than just i know asks a question that can be answered by reading the thing that i just told you about because it's also it's not like this list is set up in a confusing way or like a bad like you can't read it it is large print 
and it just lists off the topics. There's nothing else written on the page. That's it. <laughs> if it was one of those where you had to, like, search through and, like, maybe, like, read, like, pick what you want out of, like, 30 different things, like, I would understand not wanting to read it. There's a list of 12 things and then, like, five sauces on the side. <laughs> and my man could not be bothered to read it. <laughs> Even though he knew it was there. So, I don't know. I've always said, and this is maybe the wisest words that have ever come out of my mouth about anything ever, is that signs in a place of work are for the board employees to read. Because no customer will ever read them. No customer will ever read any sign. The amount of times I've had people who are staring at the soup flavors go... What's the soup for today? It's written on the door when you come in. It is written right in front of you. And we have the same soups on the same days every fucking week. <laughs> like, if you're if you're not a regular, you're excused, okay? You it's your first time, whatever. Regulars ask these questions to me on the on the regular. <laughs> Excuse the pun. But um like people people who have been there every single day asking me questions like how do i use the card reader like how have you ever been rung out here before <laughs> i don't know yesterday was just a whole day of people like asking questions like that all day and just being like that and i don't know sometimes it takes a lot to not Someone asked the question yesterday, and uh, admittedly, I understood it differently than they meant, but the way that they asked this question was, what is the difference between a 6-inch and a 12-inch? It turned out that he meant price, but that's how he asked that. Um, <laughs> and I'm so glad that I am not the one who answered him, because my response, I shit you not, would have been about 6 inches. I... <laughs> Because that's such a dumb question. <laughs> if you're asking about pricing, ask you about pricing, my guy. But that is not the way to word that sentence. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I have high standards for customer service things, but sometimes what I am forced to deal with on a daily basis is a lot. Yesterday, I was um actually... um. I'm trying to think of the word justified and feeling like this man was stupid because two guys came in. I was only taking the order for one of them, but they were like there together. Um, and he was like, you guys have like a panini, right? Because I asked him what type of bread and he was like, you have paninis, right? And I was like, yeah, but we can do that for like any type of bread. So um, what, which one would you like? And I listed off the types of bread that we have. It's not like he did not know. Um, I said, you know, we can toast any bread that you would like. It would be a panini. We can do it on any type. Here are the types. And he goes, yeah, well, the panini one. So I said to him, I, like, it's, there's not, like, a specific panini bread. People get it on different, you know, breads all of the time. Which which one would you like? And he was like, well, the the one for the panini. And his friend literally said to him, are you slow? Like, are you, can, can you not grasp this? <laughs> and I've never felt so justified in my, my anger in that moment. Because I it took me maybe five minutes to try to describe what we do for a sandwich. Like, how you pick a bread. Uh, <laughs> and even his friend was tired of it by the end of it. <laughs> his friend was the one who picked the bread for him. He was, his, he went, just do wheat. Just do wheat. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Thank you, sir. I will make the sandwich now. I don't want to interact with your friend anymore. <laughs> and that's that's why I would believe maybe that first man was illiterate, but that's you can't make it my problem. <laughs> I'm just a service worker. I'm just trying to work, you know? <laughs> um, I think on that note, though... Um, you know, Cozy, I wasn't up until this moment. 
<laughs> that was literally my my you just saw the the click in my brain of I think I should spend the rest of the morning getting ready for work. <laughs> but we've had a, a just chat and stream this morning. It started out with I didn't want to play video games because Charles was on my lap and then he left a little while ago. The butter repellent. Yes, I just I hate when you're in chat so much that I've got to I've got to go now, cozy. <laughs> No, I'll stick around for a couple more minutes. How you doing this morning? How how was your Sims day yesterday? How are you enjoying your new computer? <laughs> I was I was just complaining about my job again cuz that's you know how it is. <laughs> the office this morning heck yeah oh i wish i was already home for the day i work 10 to 4 today so it's gonna be my regular thing but i'm just like not not into it <laughs> got stuck on stardew that's a mood that's you know <laughs> it is also one of the those games in the end i'm glad you're enjoying the new pc though i'm glad it can run expanded Expanded is so much better than regular Stardew. I don't, I don't know if I could ever go back now. May, like maybe someday I'll do not Grandpa's Farm Extended. Um, but I don't know. How could I not have apples? I mean, apples is the best character. Only about an hour in. My day hasn't even started yet, technically. I got two hours before my day starts. Um. <laughs> And I don't know. I'm feeling lazy this morning. I didn't even want to play video games. That's a big thing for me. If I don't want to play video games, like, something's going on in my body, you know? <laughs> Keep expanding it with more mods. Yeah, true. Someday I'll do the, the Grampleton thing, the other side of the bridge on the other side of town there. Um, training for three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would understand the want to come home and be cozy. I would also want to come home and be cozy. <laughs> Scarlet by day, cozy by night. <laughs> uh, I wish we could all work less. It would be so nice. We could all just have like one day less each. I'd love to go back to three days a week. I miss my three days a week. <laughs> I'm not built to work. Philbert's been alone all morning. Oh no. We'll give him some good pity. Petty kits for me. <laughs> Kitty pets for me. I know. One one day less a week for everybody would be, I think, so beneficial for everything. <laughs> There'll be busy days, yeah. I always forget that work from home while also at home can be, like, stressful. Not that I, like, totally forget about it, but, like, it, it doesn't strike me. Because I want to work from home so badly. Like, I wish that I didn't have to go anywhere to go to work. <laughs> but I've heard that, Cozy. I didn't know if they were still doing it or what the, the result was. Because I heard that, like, a couple of months ago, I think. Um yeah four days has been literally incredible for me the the amount that my happiness went up and my productiveness and the things that i wanted to be doing went up when i moved from five days a week to four days a week is ridiculous um they should I, people would be a gajillion times happier it's literally ridiculous like the weight that came off my shoulders just working one day less a week <laughs> And this this comes back to my theory that I think that we should all chill like a tiny bit about wanting everything now, 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 is everyone would be able to take off a little more time and it wouldn't be as big of a deal, you know? <laughs> We'd be able to work four days a week and it would be like, fine. <laughs> Although I think there have been studies that show um, people who have more vacation time are more productive while they're at work anyway. Like, they produce more produce than people who are working throughout the week, you know? Weekends should be longer than the week. Ideally, th 
three day work week, four days off. <laughs> I mean, ideally, no day, no work days ever. But far off dream, you know. First things first, we gotta we gotta lessen what we got first before we can just take it all away. <laughs> I wish we could all never work. Um, that would be so lovely. Can you imagine the art? that would get done if nobody had to work ever. Incredible. The movies that would happen. Technically, I guess that's work still. But, I don't know. Passionate work instead of, um... Forced work. <laughs> Most of us are forced to work. We're not. I'm not particularly passionate about working at a deli. <laughs> I would have to say. Um, I don't know, I was thinking about this the other day, too. I'm, I'm able to work four days a week because technically I do have a second job in, in this, in streaming. I make a little money off it, so. And it is something I enjoy doing. It's not like it is work to me, but it is technically work. It's something I'm working on. <laughs> Passionate sandwich artist. <laughs> That's one of my coworkers came in the other day to get a sandwich, and I was the one that wound up making it. And he came in the next day, and he was like, "Oh, that sandwich you made me yesterday was like top tier." And I was just like, oh, "I've been making sandwiches my whole goddamn working life. <laughs> my first job was making sandwiches. <laughs> I worked at Subway. I was an, a a sandwich artist, and then I stopped working at Subway so that I could work at Dunkin." on the sandwich station, so I made more sandwiches. <laughs> all I've done all the entire time I've worked, except for that three years that I worked at Forever 21, is make sandwiches. <laughs> That's all I've ever done. <laughs> so I can make a mean sandwich. I am passionate about it, but... Customer service sandwich? Servicing customers with sandwiches? No. <laughs> Not so much. The passion is gone. Click sim regain passion because it's gone. It's lost. <laughs> I wish it was that easy. I really do. <laughs> just just give it like a little boop. Regain the passion. And then you're all good. You go to work and you come back and you feel fulfilled. <laughs> if only. If only. <laughs> Life should be more like the sims is what I'm saying. Um... So to those, like, Matrix conspiracy believers, um, can y'all, like, talk to whoever is running the Matrix and get them to in introduce that code, maybe? I don't know. Just some food for thought. <laughs> <coughs> no, nobody should ever have to work. There are jobs in society that need to get done, admittedly. Like, you know, scientists, like, hospital workers like jan janitors maybe um <laughs> but like no one should have to work frankly but i also oppose robots doing the jobs because i i don't know how to feel about like boston robotics just showed off that like um video the other day of the robot that they programmed to do like manual labor essentially like construction worker jobs um and that shit scares me because we don't have any as of yet actual super villains in the world um but i think once it is plausible that you could have a robot army of of workers programmed to do exactly what you want that becomes a more real possibility Elon Musk becomes more more of an evil uh, scientist type of archetype. <laughs> I struggle to call him a scientist because he's not a scientist. But <laughs> um, yeah, working just sucks no matter what you're doing. Frankly, I don't know all those people that are like, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Like I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> like I love streaming. I don't get me wrong, it is my favorite thing in the world and it is like like my my passion. Um I it is work sometimes. I do have to work at it. 
<laughs> I I have to put more of myself than I want to put into it sometimes. <laughs> so I've never I've never believed the whole do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life because that's that's some um, idealistic words. I think, <laughs> especially what if someone loves chopping logs you know that's that's what they love doing that's still work you are still working <laughs> i don't know sayings are funny sayings are weird we were talking about that earlier in general oh my goodness. i'm so tired this morning The lottery is yes, very stupid. I I could go on for hours about how much I hate the lottery as both a a uh not not function um entity. That's that's the the word I'm looking for. The lottery industry terrible. Praise off for people, praise off the hopes of people becoming billionaires, which you know supports billionaire ideology in general <laughs> and just just like terrible so many people waste so much money that it, if they just saved they would have the money that they're looking for and i'm not saying that's you know on the people because gambling is a serious problem and a serious addiction that like is real um but it's so bad it's so so bad <laughs> i'm with you there cozy that's that's someone who knows not to be trusted but sexy work on tiktok that's true listen as much as i i think bradley thor is attractive he also really strikes me as like a republican or some sort of conservative i don't know if that's true i have no basis to fact to base this on but he strikes me as someone who is not um the person he gives off to be <laughs> some something about I think he has like an American flag chest tattoo or something like that. And I'm like, red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> Log choppers are Republicans. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, also, hello, Rockbound. Hope you're doing good this morning. And um, Cornelius, yes, a universal basic income would sol solve so much for so many people. And it's shocking that people are against it, frankly. <laughs> um the whole idea that you have to work to live, like you have to, you are forced to work to live is so stupid to me. People should get food, housing, and water for free, baseline. Clothes too, potentially, like a certain amount of. Um, frankly, I think everyone should eat everything for free. I don't, y'all know my views on money and the fact that I think money is stupid and we shouldn't have it. But I, I think baseline, if we have to have money, People should be able to afford food, clothes, and housing baseline no matter what, no job needed. Like, <laughs> shocking to me that that is a topic of discussion. Because <laughs> I didn't ask to be born into this world. I now am forced to work because of the rules that people made like 10,000 years ago. Like, how does that make sense? How does that make more sense than I deserve food and shelter and water because I'm a human being? Like, <laughs> won't happen because of rich people, but that's, see, if we band together against the rich people, <laughs> therein lies the issue is we as the poor people have to do something about it. <laughs> but also, yeah, uh, pretty much. Do while Doja Cat is um, adorning herself with, like, three hundred thousand dollars worth of swarovski crystals just to go to a fashion event for one night yeah we're not going to get a universal basic income unfortunately <laughs> that's i have so many problems with rich people it's it is lit astounding how long i could talk about how much i hate rich people <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I'm not saying everyone should get, you know, like caviar for free, which frankly, I, I don't see what the problem with that is either. But like if we're if we're going on universal basic income, like money is still a thing. Like 
people people should get some baseline foods for free like a jar of peanut butter and some bread you know like <laughs> enough that you can live on um and i don't think that's a controversial statement or should be a controversial statement is that everyone deserves to eat baseline i don't care who you are and that's sometimes people when i say that they'll be like not specifically me but when i hear the the argument that i'm making is that people deserve to live for free um <laughs> people will say like oh yeah but like not drug addicts or like not homeless people and like no them too like they are people surprisingly um <laughs> I know, but peanut butter was just the first thing that popped into my mind, you know, as like a basic food for me. Um, it does not matter to me who you are. Even even Republicans, people who are voting against my best interests, they deserve to live for free as well. It's, you know, my beliefs do not extend to just the people who have the same beliefs as me. I believe that everyone on the planet should be able to eat, be housed, to have food, or have water, have clothes, everything for free. Everybody. <laughs> Yeah, people are so evil. Hi, Theo. Welcome, Vaughn in. How you doing? No worries. I had noticed that you weren't here the last little bit, but I figured you were doing real life stuff because it does happen that way sometimes. So don't feel bad about it. Welcome on in. How you doing this morning? <laughs> That's the thing, though. That argument is that they'll they'll take advantage of or or take more than they personally need in in a world where everyone is getting at baseline i don't think that's a bad idea some people need more than others and if it's if there is a system in place to give people what they need and you need more than others that's not a bad thing and that's not intrinsically terrible i think <laughs> um and also like the people Cur currently the argument of like people take too much advantage of it is like food stamps and stuff like there are people who take advantage of or like food stamps but to to feed themselves to to get food that's not taking advantage that's that's living you know <laughs> i just woke up it's 7 a.m for you well welcome on in rock rockbound i hope you're having a good morning glad you're doing all right theo In a YouTube in the world, it would be amazing, yeah. I don't know. I think a lot of people think it's, you know, too far off to believe that we could give everyone food all of the time and everything like that. But there, we could. The amount of food that's thrown out every day in the U.S. and that would take almost no, like, power or money to redistribute. Like, the end of a day at Dunkin' Donuts, give that to a homeless shelter for free because you're just going to throw it out anyway it's maybe not like again it's maybe not the most nutritious thing but it's food it is food <laughs> hi chris how you doing this morning yeah i don't know i think if there's systems in place for for basic needs being met there's no way to take advantage of that because if you have to take advantage of it you're you're in need you need food you need shelter you need housing like I don't think taking advantage of it at that point is is taking advantage. And I'm not saying that you guys are like, oh, these people are like terrible. They're they're ruining the system. Blah blah blah. I'm not saying that that's you guys. I'm just saying that like, in a, in a system where everybody gets everything, I don't think there would be a taking advantage of. I don't I don't think there's possibility of that because you're just getting what you need. And if you need more than others, you need more than others. <laughs> And yeah, like there's there's already ways where we could be doing this, and it it it's just corporate greed that we don't fully. <laughs> oh yeah, we're when it whenever it's full screen camo like this, Chris, we're either I'm either ending or we're having some like heated discussion. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's true. Yeah, people who are buying, like, TVs and stuff. But also, I don't know. I think once you've gotten money because the government has deemed that you need help, that money's yours. However you spend it is however you spend it. Um, I don't know. I have weird views on money. 
I know I am the odd man out here in my own chat a lot of the time. <laughs> um, I just, I don't think that there's, there's taking advantage of, of government systems, but I don't know if there's ever a part where I don't feel, feel like it's at least somewhat excusable. Like food stamps, I don't think there's any fraud of food stamps that's not excusable. If you have money and you're still like taking money from the government to buy food, that's fine to me. That's I don't care. <laughs> the government has screwed us over in so many ways. If you need a hundred bucks a month to buy milk and cheese and bread or whatever, like more power to you, frankly. <laughs> I my views on the government and my views on money interact in a way that I don't think stealing from the government is ever bad. <laughs> That's a joke, Twitch. Ha ha ha. Um, <laughs> don't ban me. But yeah, I have I have extremist beliefs a little bit. <laughs> Steal from the government, kids, is what I'm saying. Ha ha ha. Don't do that. But <laughs> a health system to support. Mm. Yeah, we don't really have public. Um, health in mind here in the US. <laughs> I think about that a lot, honestly. Money being stolen is creating issues elsewhere. Uh, that's fair. You know what this comes down to in the end, though? Is this brings me back to my point of money is stupid. <laughs> money is bad. <laughs> Everything comes back to this point, but I'll, I'll talk about it another time. Maybe we won't have a whole stream of me saying money is bad for two hours. Chris agrees. See? Cre credit is terrible. Credit was the worst thing ever, and it was invented in the 80s. Um, it is a very recent thing that people think it has been like an F forever means everything thing. <laughs> Credit was invented by credit companies to make you feel bad and, and like, jump through hoops to have money. <laughs> the same way the carbon footprint was invented so that uh, oil companies could make you feel bad about your your uh, in impact on the environment while they have huge oil spills in the middle of the ocean. Like, some things were invented by companies for nefarious purposes, and credit is one of them. <laughs> Credit of major corporations, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry to be shitting on what you do for your your job, Cozy, but credit is bad. <laughs> That's, I can't change my views on that. <laughs> it's a bad system, and at the very least needs a change, if not kind of just gotten rid of, frankly. <laughs> I don't know about for corporations. Maybe maybe corporations should keep credit because I feel like you should be held accountable for how you deal with money when you are dealing with that level of money. Um, you know, billions of dollars coming through. You should have some sort of score on how you are spending that money. Um, me and you who are just trying to survive, who are spending like money on on like bills and that, like I don't know if that should really be scored. <laughs> I don't have any tattoos, Rockbond. The only body mod that I have at all is I have a nose piercing. I don't have any other piercings, no, no, um, tattoos, no, nothings. Use for acquisitions, yeah. Uh, it might be, it might be me, Suchan, I don't know. My bit rate is weird sometimes. Let me check. Hello, Charles. I know. You are so handsome. No, my bit rate is fine right now. A treat. A treat for Mr. Charles. <laughs> Let me go grab the treats real quick. He's having a moment with, with outside the window. <laughs> Are you going to let me stand up so I can get you a treat? Oh, that looked like a, a recognition. Come here. Ooh, I need you to get down for a sec, though. 
I know. I love him so much. He's maybe one of the best cats I've ever met. <laughs> Charles, would you like a treat? I know you're in the middle of eating your breakfast. Oh, <laughs> he dropped it into his food bowl. He's been really funny with the wet food lately. I can't figure it out. I'm going to steal it from you for a moment so I can show chat. I'm so sorry, Mr. Charles. He pushes it all off to the edge, licks the gravy off of it, and then leaves it there. Some days he eats all of it, and some days he eats, like, none of it. But when he eats none of it, he licks the gravy off, and then he leaves it. He doesn't touch it again until the next day. <laughs> crazy cat gay. I am a crazy cat gay. <laughs> I've been a crazy cat gay since the day I was born, frankly. <laughs> it's a super cat thing, yeah. And thank you, Cornelius. <laughs> I know, I'm wearing the short shorts, even though it's, like, 37 degrees out. Because I wanted to wash my pajama bottoms, and I didn't even wind up doing that. <laughs> no, I've been a crazy cat gay since I think the day I was born. I've been a cat boy for sure since the day I was born. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> a pit bull counts as a cat, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere along the line, you know? <laughs> The cat boy laser, no. <laughs> Ow. I just pulled my hair with it. Thinks he counts as a cat, absolutely. <laughs> I've, I've met so many dogs in my day that weigh more than me and still think they're a lap dog. It's ridiculous. It has been a while. Sasha fired the cat boy laser like a week ago, I think. Um, and Twisted fired it a couple of days before that, but it has been a little bit. <laughs> People are saving up their points for that VIP. Or for the farts, honestly. <laughs> They're both worth it. Looks like it's part of a naughty costume, you know? I'm not gonna say that you're right, Chris, um, but you might not be wrong. It did also come with, um these fingerless gloves that have hearts for the paws <laughs> um and then also i don't know if i can still find it there's a tail somewhere there it is are you ready to see the creepiest thing you've ever seen in your life um <laughs> this is the tail it attaches i think by belt it's the only the only way i found to attach it's just like a hoop at the end <laughs> So, I don't use this that often. <laughs> There's one clip on on TikTok where I where I put it on for a minute. <laughs> you know, I counted myself lucky of that too, Chris. <laughs> you should use it more. You have 78k points, cozy. I got to find out more things for you to spend your points on. <laughs> There's not enough. And the Catboy laser is great and all, but I gotta figure out something else. I know. <laughs> I I don't understand the people that do that. I'm not gonna lie. To each their own, I'm not gonna knock it, but I cannot... My brain doesn't wrap around it. <laughs> this is as far as the Catboy will ever go for me. <laughs> I could not be a furry. I did watch a whole documentary about furries at one point, honestly. It was a very interesting documentary. <laughs> Hi there, Mike Hustles. How you doing? How's your morning so far? You come in at a very strange time. <laughs> but I think I've said that to the last four or five people who have entered chat, so it, it might just be a weird channel. I'm not gonna lie, it was one of the more interesting documentaries that I've ever watched. I'm not a documentary person, but I actually enjoyed watching it. Um, one of them, admittedly, was very scary. He ho ha handmade his costume, and he was not good at it. But it was, like, so, like, heartfelt to him that he would not make a new one. Um, 
and he himself was a very sweet guy and that he came across in the documentary as like a really nice guy but in the fursuit terrifying <laughs> i mean the stuff of nightmares <laughs> like heck yeah a new pc that sounds exciting um rock band my favorite musician right now is actually a japanese musician her name is yorushika um and i fucking love her <laughs> she's been my top artist two years in a row on spotify um jeff lu hmm maybe have to look into that and yeah we are we are talking of furries briefly cornelius <laughs> you can be a nice guy in a furry listen as much as i i love to hate on furries as well they are a very easy demographic to make fun of they run the internet if 90 percent of furries in the world were on one flight and that flight went down we would no longer have the internet i guarantee you the furries hold high positions in society. They are engineers. They are, like, doctors. Like, they are well-educated people most of the time, which is really weird. Don't don't get me wrong. It's weird for me that I am defending furries right now. <laughs> and I would like to reiterate that I am not... I am not <laughs> a furry. But... They do... Uh, <laughs> that's... That's not even the side of the internet that I'm on, Cozy. That is un the unfortunate truth that has been revealed to me from the side of the internet that I am on, which is um, a website that I won't name. <laughs> Listen, just just because... <laughs> no, there's no furry stuff on my... On... There's no furry stuff on the... Things that I have reblogged or liked on Tumblr. Um, I cannot say that there is not furry stuff that comes across my dash. Um, but that is through no fault of my own. That is because other people like it, not me. <laughs> because I have friends who like it. <laughs> no. I'm actually upset because I started following someone on Twitter recently, and you know how it shows you other people's likes all of the time on Twitter? Um, that person is a furry, very heavily, and a lot of furry porn has started to show up on my, like, Discover page on Twitter now, and I'm not into it. <laughs> I have very heavily considered unfollowing them because I just don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> I'm not... I have had this argument with past partners, by the way. I am not a furry. <laughs> I swear, it's really hard to make this argument while I have cat ears on. <laughs> Considering, but not doing. Listen, <laughs> he posts other stuff sometimes that is worthwhile for me to follow that is not furry stuff. He actually doesn't post any furry stuff, which is funny why, why I see more of the furry stuff than his stuff. But... <laughs> A good Yif comic. Alright, well, one of us in chat is. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just listen. I've discussed this fact before, too. Just because I do think that humans would be cuter if we had cat ears does not mean I'm a furry. It does not wanna, mean I want a Yif. I don't want to wear a fursuit. <laughs> Eclectic, you know, I guess that suits me. I can't deny that one. <laughs> I, I'm pretty worldly in my, my media consumption, <laughs> I guess. It's not my fault that I follow people who are furries, okay? Someone who I used to hang out with um, when I was in high school followed me on Twitter a couple years ago, and I fully did not know who they were at first because their profile is a hundred percent furry like they only tweet furry stuff they only like like furry stuff there's almost no information as to who they are as a person but just like one thing on like their description or whatever i was like oh i know this person in real life that's why they follow me <laughs> and i didn't want to be rude and not follow them back but i didn't want to see anything that they post ever <laughs> I have this struggle a lot, okay? I am not a furry, but I am 
very furry adjacent. <laughs> a lot of my friends become furries at some point in their life, and maybe that says a lot about me. Maybe I'm just more accepting of a person than the rest of you. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm going to go with. I shouldn't have to defend myself on this. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> next topic, right? How about them sports balls? <laughs> every, every single time that someone enters into this chat, we are talking about the weirdest fucking shit. <laughs> that we cannot keep a regular conversation on this channel. <laughs> The, I feel I feel like we've really covered all the bases when it comes to talking about the internet today. <laughs> we've talked about economy. We've talked about furries. We've talked about um, just chilling. <laughs> That's true. If you see this and you are not you're not expecting some form of silly little guy talk, like that's on you. You know. This this is silly guy behavior. <laughs> Why I attract so many strange random messages? Listen, if this is what it takes to get more GUP like men, Mr. Gay, in the chat, then so be it. So I'll, this is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> We've talked about cats, absolutely, yeah. We I think we talked about cheese for a little bit too. <laughs> We've really covered all the topics today. <laughs> and I was going to stop like an hour ago. I, I was going to take the rest of the morning You're to so kind of just chill. Um, I, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> We're having great topics today. We do love the weirdos. We meme on anyone who comes into this chat trying to be mean to me. <laughs> My favorite comments that I've ever gotten in this chat are uh, by far the ones intending to be mean to me. <laughs> Taste of the best kind of O's. <laughs> the best parent so far. You know, Kelly is pretty alright as a parent. Com compared to Gavin, that's a low bar. Um, but, <laughs> but Kelly's a pretty good parent, considering she has the hates children aspect. Um, I'm going to take these off because it's really hot in my room now. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm overheating from this this cat boy wear. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my favorite messages I've ever received have always been from people who are trying to be mean to me. Uh, I bet you suck at Fortnite while playing Minecraft. Top tier. I bet you pee or do you pee like men, Mister Gay? No notes. Incredible. Um, are you rainbow? I don't even know what to say about that one. That's really good. <laughs> That's my favorite way of someone um, asking if I was gay, really. <laughs> Do you lift? <laughs> no, I get a, I get a lot of weird ones. We had a we had a foot fetishist raid at one point, um, and not so much as someone raided me and they were all foot fetishists. I mean, like. Three or four people all came into chat at once asking for foot pics from me. Like, separately. No raid, no, like, nothing. They were all separate people all coming in at the same time, <laughs> looking for the same thing. Um, that one was a strange one. <laughs> Charles. Charles is a strange one. You know, Feet hasn't been in chat, I think, since we mentioned it, though. He no longer hangs out here. I really do think we scared him away. And yes, I obliged him with feet pics now. <laughs> I think I've once shown off my feet on camera for like a millisecond. <laughs> um... <laughs> he's staring into your soul. No, he's staring outside right now. But it does kind of feel like that. <laughs> he loves staring out the window. It's his, like, favorite pastime. 
You are such a little weirdo. He is a pretty boy. <laughs> He is well worth the stream. Today's stream was pretty much just going to be um, him chilling for the longest time. <laughs> but then he hopped off my lap. Hello, Sophie. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I also enjoy Charles. <laughs> he is my favorite cat. Kitty cuddle times are the best times of my day for sure. Hello. You're so silly, a man. Are you going to lay down? We don't have super long before I gotta get up and get dressed. But it would be nice if you laid down. No worries, Chris. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely, lovely rest of the morning. I probably won't be going for too much longer here anyway. It's, what, 846? Yeah, I probably get, gotta get going in the next little bit to go to work anyway. As much as I would not like to. <laughs> Can you... Charles. Hello. Hello. <laughs> He's so much better of a streamer than I am. I would watch this stream, for sure. <laughs> He's so silly. He's scoffing it. <laughs> I gotta find out more of what this one likes, because I think he's getting tired of the beef-like things that I give him right now for wet food. He just, his dry food, he's still excited about. He still eats it all the time. But the wet food, like 50% of the time, he licks the gravy off and then just doesn't eat it. So I wound up throwing it out the next morning. So I gotta find out if it, he just, like, doesn't like it, or if he, like, what's, what the deal is, what that is. <laughs> I think he's just bored of it. I think I've gotta switch it up for him. Because um, he gets the same thing every morning. <laughs> you are so special. Yeah. Hello. If you've ever wondered what I'm doing in my free time these days, by the way, this is it. <laughs> Pretty much just hanging with Charles. I could do it for hours. Except for when he wants to stand on my desk. You know, you're not allowed. He don't care. He don't care in the slightest. He can see birds or something out the window. Okay. I think... <laughs> We're gonna get Charles to sit down for a second. Charles. Down. Down, please. No, not on the computer. No. <laughs> uh, I think as much fun as I'm having, as great as this stream has been, I think I'm going to get ready for work now. If you are still here hanging, lurking, chatting, vibing, or even if you just showed up right now and I'm um, bailing out on you, thank you very much. It's been a lovely, lovely morning. A lot of people here hanging and chatting for a long time, and I love when we can just hang and chat, honestly. One of one of the things when I first started streaming, I was like, I am never going to get to a point where I like can just do a just chatting stream. Um, and here we are, you know, two full hours of it. So, thank you guys for hanging with me. Thanks for making a small little dream of mine come true in that way. Um, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely afternoon. There will not be a second stream today because I had my Japanese lessons later on. So I hope you have a lovely, lovely evening as well from both me and Charles. <laughs> um, the next time I see you is tomorrow, but I work 9 to 3 again. Um, so I think tomorrow maybe we'll do just another 
just chatting stream like this in the morning. Um, can you lay down, please? <laughs> because I only have an hour um, for my normal stream time to do things tomorrow. So I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do with the morning streams on days where I'm working 9 to 3, which seems like it's going to be more frequent. Um, so for right now, they're probably going to be hour-long just chatting streams. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I'll cancel a couple of them. Who knows? <laughs> for now, thank y'all for hanging. Thank y'all for chatting. We'll get one last good look at Charles' handsome face. And I hope you all have a lovely, lovely evening. Wonderful morning if I don't happen to catch you tomorrow. And until the next time, guys. Bye.